Hey guys, it's Pamela. I am just obsessed with this <clears throat> density pour. I mean, if I were that obsessed, I'd probably do more of them, but I um, made some little bitty cups, tiny cups, and <clears throat> This is Bright Aqua Green, this is Brilliant Yellow Green, this is Deep Violet, and this is Amsterdam <clears throat> Ultramarine, and this is Diazazine Purple, the big one, which I'm going to use to <clears throat> as a base coat and also pour the rest of these colors in. So I hope I've got enough paint with these <clears throat> tiny little cups. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, I made up some base coat, which is the same as this. I mean, it may be a tiny bit different. Um, <clears throat> I didn't talk about the pouring medium or the satin enamel. I'll do that at the end. I also have a new filming setup here, so I'm going to be much happier. Uh, I know I've been away a while. I'm not going to upplay that. I'm going to downplay it. But um, with this new setup, I'm not tripping over myself up in the studio. It's not hot as all get out up there. Do I ever say all get out? No. And it's just more comfortable down here. It's I've got just the necessities on a rack. I'll show you that after the pour. I'll show you that when we're done here. So it's going to be all good. All right, so <clears throat> let's go with this one. I don't have to try to scringe. Scringe is that a word? I don't have to. Uh, manipulate myself to get into the position so that you can see what I'm doing. There we go. I can just zoom in on all of this during the editing if I want. So, so I'm just going around the cup with these. I'm not really scraping out. something. Okay, just a stray pour with a twist at the end like Gina. Down low or up high? Medium. This was a lot of paint. Oops. This table is level. I don't think my fish pins are level. Okay, I can see it's trying to sell up a little bit. I'm going to leave it alone for a minute. Well, I did run into the plant here.
I think my paint was too thick yet once again for the 90th time. I don't know what I'm going to learn. I don't know what I'm going to learn. I think it needs to disappear in the cup. I think I've been told wrong that it doesn't need to sink in the cup, but no, I think it does. And it's going to. Like if you sit there, you're going to get run over by my chair. Yeah, it's a new chair. New chair to you, down here. And you're going to get run over with it, so... Excuse me. <sighs> Cats. I sound a little frustrated. Okay, I'll bring you down for close-up. I might give you two for one in this video, because, uh... If Mama's not happy, nobody's happy. Okay, so I did about 10 milliliters of paint in the tiny cups and um, 20 milliliters of Floetrol. So that's one part paint, two parts Floetrol. Then I added about half a teaspoon of Liquitex pouring medium. And then I added water to consistency to where it didn't sink. Oh, and the satin enamel. I've got window glare there. The satin enamel was in three of the colors except for the ultramarine and the base coat. So, I'm going to do it again and I'm going to thin out the paints this time. Aren't we Cleo? Cleo. Aren't we? Aren't we? She's so cute. Okay. Oh, I forgot to talk. I used some cadmium yellow medium light hue in with that green, or yellow green. So this is half cadmium, and uh, I got enough of that. And uh, half of the yellow from before. That's the only thing I changed. Well, I uh, was out of that ultramarine blue from um, Amsterdam. I keep wanting to say Academy. <laughs> Amsterdam, and um, so let's get this way. So that uh, blue got left out. Stop there. All kinds of sellage going on. Okay, I'm going to wait a few minutes.
see what you can do with thin paint? Pam. <laughs> okay. It's that Liquitex pouring medium that just really sets up. Oh, this is the cup, the dirty cup that I poured this one with. It has all the colors together. Just myself. I tried to take out some of the yellow and stuff. It's kind of a gray purple. Yeah, it's a gray purple. That's that's a thing. I think Amsterdam has a color called gray purple. But we'll see what happens. Because it's got the satin enamel in it and everything. So it's funny. Okay. You know the side. And I want a lot of blue. Oh, I just feel like that's that thickened up on me in just that short amount of time. I'm gonna be mad. Okay, here we go. Torch might be better, it may not dry it out as quickly. There's that air going on it. It's not a lot of air, but uh, that heat gun blows out air, so to go upstairs and get my torch. Okay, it's selling up, so I'm gonna wait a second. A bunch of blue cells came up right there. I really like this one. I really think it's pretty. This is the best density street pour I've done. I like it. That one hasn't changed much and it's got this big old purple. I'm gonna touch it purple dot and then <laughs> it's kind of funny looking. I like it. Thanks guys for being patient with me. Uh, if you're new, please subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, all that jazz. See you next time. Bye.